So we'll start off with the uh, review of Renan Barreo versus Anthony Leone. I went for Renan Bar uh, Barreo on this, and I'm quite glad because he did win. Um, according to uh, Sherdog, in fact, uh, he won the uh, first and the third rounds. In fact, he finished in the third round um, with a armbar. Um, I would just point out that I'm not very impressed with um, the first round uh, where the um, the match was in fact halted um, and uh, that was because uh, Ren had managed to um, I presume kick um, uh, Anthony Leonan where he shouldn't have um, accordingly, according to this, Josh Rosenthal uh, didn't seem to take a point, and Barreo still won the round. It wouldn't have made a difference because he finished, but I do get extremely annoyed by low blows. I do think they should be punished extremely harshly um, if you're at all interested in fighter safety, which you know, I'm beginning to wonder if they really are or not, and I'll, and I'll, I'll get to why um, when we get to the main event. Right, Rafael Asenkeo versus Diego Nunes. Now, I went for um, Rafael Asenkeo here, and uh, so did Sherdog, uh, giving him the first and second round. The third round they gave to Nunes. Unfortunately, the... Um, it ended up being a split decision, and they gave it to Noons, 30-27, 28-29, and 29-28. Um, the first round was obviously Asenkeo, and I think the third round was obviously Noons. The difficult one to score was the second round, and what may have... Um, you know, although uh, Asenkeo uh, in the first two rounds had um, control... Um, of where the fight was going and he was always in the middle etc etc um, I think that in the second round it may have been the the spinning back kicks um, or spack, <laughs> spack, uh, uh, spinning back kicks um, uh, and the like that um, that might have impressed I think upon the judges minds a little bit some of which landed uh, for noons um, <sighs> And, and they did, in fact, cause uh, Asankeo to try and take the, um, the, uh, the match to the ground. Um, notwithstanding in the fourth round the fact that Asankeo actually got knocked down at one point. Um, a split decision. A little bit disappointed um, because I like uh, Rafael Asankeo. Big fan of them. Um, the whole Asankeo group, if you like. Ascension MMA, I believe it's called. Um, Eric Cox versus Bendy Casimir didn't last very long at all um, basically uh, they went into a clinch um, Koch got a takedown um, and then he went for a uh, triangle um, and uh, Casimir tried his best to get out but couldn't and Karen Darabedian versus Will Care. Um, not not a result that I thought at all. Um, an extremely quick um, uh, submission finish by Will Care. Apparently the clinch uh, occurred. Darabedian got the takedown, fell straight into an armbar, and, and that was it. Um, both in the first and the second round, uh, he was warned. Um, he was warned because he kept grabbing hold of the cage. Uh, you're not allowed to do that. Um, and I think that raises concerns. I do think that raises concerns. Um, in the first round, uh, it was all Horideki with managing to um, get takedowns. You know, he tried for a... Um, a guillotine. He tried for an RNC. Uh, Downs, very good at defending and got out, but obviously lost the round because of that. He was warned once in that was Horideki. Um, in the second round, um, there was a little bit more on their feet to begin with, um, but there was a, a, a takedown at one point. Um, and this is where 
um, Horideki is warned twice um, not to uh, hold on to the fence. Um, now in the third round, he gets warned for something else. He starts with the spinning back kick and once the, the, the fight is on the ground um, and he's looking for the RNC finish, which he finally gets, um, he is warned this time not to uh, punch the back of the head. Um, I'm not sure I like Chris Horodeki's mo uh, um, uh, modus operandi, so to speak. I think I think I think it borders on being a little bit concerning. However, um, I did choose him to win. Um, you know, so there we are. Ring rust did not stop Josh Grisby against Elsie Davis, um, and we're beginning to see now that. Uh, Perhaps Josh Grisby is not such a fluke after all. Um, you know, as soon as uh, they got to the ground, and um, it was Davis that actually got to the ground, um, uh, Grisby managed to get um, a guillotine, um, and although Elsie uh, Davis tried to get out, he actually um, went unconscious, um, causing the stoppage there. Um, not not the person who I, I chose, but in a way I'm not surprised, um, really. Somehow I, I think that people have been underestimating Josh Grisby. I think they, they do uh, think that he's a fluke. And, and I'm beginning to think with so many calibres that he's beating so easily and so quickly, um, one has to consider whether perhaps even with a, a long time out, whether he's actually quite... Um, will end up being a, quite a contender. Extremely annoyed um, about the Jamie Varner versus Kamal Shaloris match. Um, it's a draw in the end. 29-27 uh, Varner, 29-27 uh, Shaloris, um, and 28-28 for them both. Um, and here's why it was a draw. Um, it seems that uh, Jamie Varner, apart from in the first round, uh, was getting the better of the stand-up. He did this through the age-old method of leg kicks. Um, however, uh, Shaloris has a fantastic chin. And it seemed that no matter how much um, Varner was to smack him in the head, um, Shaloris was not going to, to, to be moved. The difficulty that I have with this was in the second round where um, they were in the middle of an exchange and uh, Shaloris managed to um, kick him in the groin. Um, so they continued and, you know, within a few minutes uh, he managed to kick him in the groin again. This time a point was deducted. Uh, fast forward to the third round and, and what happens? Um, they have a little exchange and Shaloris kicks him in the groin a third time and no point was deducted. Now, I think three points should have been deducted. I think a point should have been deducted every single time somebody does an accidental uh, low blow uh, or an illegal move. It, it, it's, I know some people say, oh, they can't help it. You know, things happen in the, in the heat of the moment. It's, you know, it's, it's an accident. Yeah, but an accident is also accidentally getting yourself into a position where you might be submitted or TKO'd. It all counts. How can somebody who has managed to foul so many times, the game had to be stopped and started twice because of Shaloris, manage to get a draw? Um, no, I just think that's awful. And 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 him, him, is it Josh Rosenthal? Yes. Um, not 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 impressed. Not pleased. You know, uh, one one deduction was not enough.